My name's Sarah Bucknell. I'm the owner of the hotel along with my husband, Phil. We both worked in advertising agencies for over 20 years, so it was sort of time for a change. We found Stowe House and it was a functioning business but it wasn't necessarily in the best state and there were quite a lot of things that needed doing to it. We were lucky that we had a really, really good team of builders. It did run pretty smoothly and it was on time and in budget. When we originally set up, we had our website and channel management with another company. They offered us more probably than we needed. So we started looking around for another solution and came across Little Hotelier. And as the name would indicate, it is specifically designed for smaller hotels and bed and breakfasts. I'd say the biggest benefit that technology offers small hotels is that you get a lot of freedom. You're not sort of chained to your computer or chained to the telephone waiting for bookings to come in. Once you've got everything set up, it's fairly seamless. They've obviously done a lot of research into the sort of basic essentials that people like us need. It's a very intuitive system. It's um, easy to use. You get very comprehensive training straight up. You can be out and about. You know that bookings will be going on. You can also know that there's never going to be a problem with overbookings or somebody's just going to turn up and say, but I booked a room because it's seamless and it just can't go wrong. It has everything you need, it charges a fair price and it allows you to punch above your weight. I think what makes Stowe House unique is probably based on the fact that neither of us had worked in hospitality beforehand. So there's no, there wasn't a sort of blueprint of how we should do things. We just decided to do things based on what we liked. So for instance, we named the rooms after pieces of art that hang on the wall because we love art. And it gives them quite bizarre names as well. So one room's called Shotgun Claire and another room's called like Wow Man. We're always on the hunt for new art. We've got a big, massive papier-mâché hair that's hanging up in the bar. And that actually was a local artist. And also he did a badger in a gas mask for one of the rooms as well. We wanted to be slightly different from the average B&B in the Yorkshire Dells. So whilst you've got all the sort of splendour of the countryside and the views and the walks and everything like that, we wanted to juxtapose it with something that's slightly, maybe a little bit more sort of urban and sort of luxurious, I suppose.